Sata. He deserves to be glorified. He deserves to be high and lifted up. Rabba Katoria Bashanda. My God, my Lord, I was speaking to him, my God Almighty, earlier. Just a little before I turned the line on. And while I was there, my God Almighty, I said, God, you're in control. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. As usual, the way he do it. And I, my God Almighty, as I'm there, he just dropped in my spirit and said, my God Almighty, it is important for us as man, knowing that this month is a month of man, for all, every one of us, not just women, because people use their ignorance and talk about, you know, men mean men, is women mean women. So why would they call us woo and then the men? They don't understand that he called every one of us men. Amen? Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And it is my God Almighty. He said, let my people know that it is important for everyone to have the favor of man, the favor of God, and the favor of man. Rabba Satoria Bashanda. Many people don't understand how important it is. Why going day by day without the favor of God? We need the favor of God. Yeah, amen. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. Yeah. We need to have the favor of God in our life. That is the number one favor we need. And then if you do have the number one favor in your life, it will extend and man will give you favor. I wonder if you hear what I'm saying. Amen. Rabba Satori Abashende. We are not supposed to live without it. Going day by day as if it is nothing. It is very important because if we don't have the favor of God or if we don't have the favor, get the favor of man, then they're going to ask us, Where is your God? Where is your God? Yeah. And He must, my God Almighty, operate first in our life. I want to hear what I'm saying. Amen. He must be the one to operate first in our life. Rabba Satori Abashanda. And if we are, my God Almighty, His children, we have to look and see and understand, people of God, what the Word of God said. The Word of God said, my God Almighty, let's, let's um, turn our Bible to, my God Almighty, the book of Esther. Amen. Because what you don't get and understand, Ex Esther becomes a woman of favor. Come on, talk to me. Any way you take it, she turned out to be a woman of favor. And I just pray today that the Lord God Almighty will just move today, people of God. Move mightily powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. And I bless God for those that come on this morning and were praying for me and the ministry. God bless you all. Hallelujah. It's a blessing. It's a blessing, my God Almighty. When I hear my God Almighty, the woman of God praying, my God Almighty, Stababit, it's a blessing, people of God. You all don't get it yet. You all don't get it yet. And it's a blessing, my God. Our dear sister Geish always do it. Our dear sister Ivan always do it. Just a few will do it. Just a few. I'm not, I'm not going to hide and go around the clock. You know. Especially my God Almighty, our dear sister Geisha, always praying for me on this line. Many people come to pray, they start to pray about their business as if they want me to hear what is going on. And they don't understand that when they start to do that, I just tune out the phone out of my hearing because I don't want to hear nothing. Yes. I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear nobody praying their business in my ears. Thank you God. If you can't come on the line and pray for the woman of God that is praying for you all out there, it's sad. 
Sad, sad, sad. But I bless God when I hear prayer going up. Amen. Come on, people, don't get jealous. Give God praise, glory, and honor. It's not everybody do it. It's not everybody do it. You all don't understand what the Lord God Almighty told us. My God Almighty, Sunday, um, not Sunday, um, Friday. Friday we have such a powerful service. What the Lord told us Friday in His in His Word. It's, was it Friday or it was last Wednesday when we were talking up? It, I think it's last Wednesday. When we were talking about Abraham last Wednesday. Wednesday. Last Wednesday. It was so powerful when the Lord God Almighty said in Genesis 12. He said, when, my God Almighty, that he will make Abraham. He has made Abraham a blessing and whoever bless him. You see, what you all don't understand, that is the reason why he causes Abraham, my God Almighty, to be a father of every one of us. Because when we are the father of him, we will operate like him. We will, God will, just so God bless him, he will bless us. He will have us to be a blessing to others as well. And whoever bless us, he will bless them. And whoever curse, he said, the one that curse you, he will curse them. Yes. Woo. So we need to understand, people of God, that with God, all things are possible. Yes. Glory Amen. be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. And I know that from since I speak about instrument of the ministry and all that, some people is just holding back. Listen to me. You can't hold back on God. If you hold back on Him, you are holding back on yourself. You can't hold back on but, God. Glory, glory. glory to Jesus Christ, the word, the Lord, the word. Glory be to God, hallelujah. Father, there is none like unto thee, dear God Almighty. You all can hear me? Worry, yes, now we can, Apostle. You cut out. Yes, sorry about that. I was just saying, that I was just singing a little song that come up in my spirit, just birthed out of my spirit, said, You can't hold back on God. You can't hold back on God. Because if you hold back on him, you are holding back on yourself. You can't hold back on God. Amen. Cannot hold back on yeah. God, people. We cannot hold back on God. Whenever we hold back, it's just like when a person come on this line and it's time for them to praise God and they don't want to praise God. You think you're spiting anybody, you're spiting yourself. Yes, yes. Amen. God said he want worship on this line so I have to go under his command it's only a pity it happened that I have to be doing it but whenever God circle things in the midst somebody else can do it you understand it Amen. Yes. but we have to have worship when the sanctuary come forth it's even going to be much better Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. What a God we serve. Angels bow before him, people. Heaven and earth adore him. I just love him. I love God so much. Oh my God. I love I love him every much. Not so much. Every much. Amen. Very much. <laughs> Yes, I love, not even very, I love him every much, every much, even when he allow me to suffer and go through the hell, I still love him, so I love him every much. That's just a way of me speaking, not saying that is the right English, my teacher, but I'm just putting it like that to just show people how much I love him. Yes. Mean in every step of the way, the songwriter said, I just want to express yourself. Oh, my God. God Almighty, I'm telling you, some, sometimes I don't know what to do where he's concerned. You want to see me and him, people of God, doing some summer sauce inside the house here. So, and I'm just laughing like an idiot. <laughs> 
Love him, love him, Glory love him, love God. him. Some li listen to me. There are times when he just put in my spirit. There's a, a spirit of happiness. I'm just laughing and I'm just saying, "Oh God, you're good." And he start to bring some things to my remembrance and he start to show me things of the future. And I just said, "God, you're too good. You're too good. I love you. I love you. I love you." That's and I just yeah, just laughing, laughing and going away. Say, "God, you're sweet." Yeah, hallelujah. It is not for us to serve God and my God Almighty be unhappy. Come on, people. There is joy in serving the Lord. That's a message I must preach. He's a mighty, powerful God, y'all. God is gooder than goodies. Glory to God. No goodies yes. can compare to my God. He's gooder than goodies. Yes. 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 All the time. Just Get me like this. He will just tell me something right away, even when praise, like, like just as how you hear, we, we have worship a while ago. He will just come right in the midst with worship and then he will come again. My God Almighty, when I started to speak, He will just start to drop things in my spirit and have me to go. And when I do that, people of God, it's not me, it's Him. So I flow much better when He do it. Amen? Amen, amen, amen. It's not flesh when He do it. Amen. It's not flesh when God is doing it and I bless His holy name. Amen. Come on, you find it, my daughter. What I'm trying to say, people of God, we are about my God Almighty. It is. And today, my God, by the grace of God, as I go along, I must release that favor of God in everyone's life. Everyone that can grab it and take a hold of it. The favor of God and also, and also the favor of man. So it must come Holy in the midst. God. The way I want God to do it, and I believe he will do it, is the way, just as when he was creating us, he said he create us in his own image. And just as all we're going to have the favor of God, the favor of God must be in our life, and the favor of man must operate as if it is a new creation. As if it is a new creation. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying, people. For the favor of God to come in. Come on, my daughter, talk to me now. Yes, Esther, starting in chapter 5, verse 1. Amen. Esther 5, verse 1. No, hold on, hold on. Father, we thank you today. We bless you, O God Almighty, as the word come forth, Lord Jesus Christ. Let this word, God Almighty, flow. Let this word, Lord Jesus Christ, take over. Let this word, my God Almighty, hallelujah, move like a river, like a, my God Almighty, a tsunami. Let it go forth, God Almighty. Everything in the way that is not of you, let it wash it away. Let wisdom, knowledge, and understanding come in and bring in my God Almighty revelation and knowledge to take over everything in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Go forth, my daughter. Esther 5, Esther 5, verse 1. Now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel and stood in the inner court of the king's house, over against the king's house. And the king sat upon his royal throne in the royal house, over against the gate of the house. <coughs> Esther 5, verse 2. And it was so... When the king saw Esther, the queen, standing in the court, that she obtained favor in his sight, and the king held out to Esther the golden scepter that was in his hand. So Esther drew near and touched the top of the scepter. Ooh, Esther 5, Esther 5 verse 3. Then said the king unto her, What wilt thou, Queen Esther? And what is thy request? It shall be given thee 
to the half of the kingdom. Esther 5 verse 4. And Esther answered, If it seem good unto the king, let the king and Haman come this day unto the banquet that I have prepared for him. Esther 5 verse 5. Then the king said, Cause Haman to make haste, that he may do as Esther has said. So the king and Haman came to the banquet that Esther had prepared. Esther 5 verse 6. And the king said unto Esther at the banquet of wine, What is thy petition? And it shall be granted thee. And what is thy request? Even to the half of the kingdom it shall be performed. Esther 5 verse 7. Then answered Esther and said, My petition and my request is, Esther 5 verse 8, If I have found favor in the sight of the king, and if it please the king to grant my petition and to perform my request, that the king and him can come to the banquet, and I shall prepare for them, and I will do tomorrow as the king has said. Esther 5 verse 9. Then went Haman forth that day, joyful and with a glad heart. But when Haman saw Mordecai in the king's gate, and he stood not up nor moved for him, he was full of indignation against Mordecai. Esther 5 verse 10. Nevertheless, Haman refrained himself. And when he came home, he sent and called for his friends, and Zeresh, his wife. Esther 5 verse 11. And Haman told them of the glory of his riches and the multitude of his children and all the things wherein the king had pr promoted him and how he had advanced him above the princes and servants of the king. That's the 5 verse 12. Haman said moreover, Yea, Esther the queen did let no man come in with the king unto the banquet that she had prepared but myself. And tomorrow... Am I invited unto her also with the king? Esther 5 verse 13. Yet all this availeth me nothing, so long as I keep Mordecai, the Jew sitting at the king's gate. Esther 5 verse 14 and last. Then said Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends unto him, Let a gallow be made of fifty cubits high, and tomorrow speak thou unto the king that Mordecai may be hanged. Thereon, then go thou and merrily with the king unto the banquet. And the thing pleased him, in, and he caused the gallows to be made. Glory be to God. We're not going to go any further because it is for each and every one. I would, I would, um, t you know, tell everyone. Please read the book of Esther. Read it. Some of your life are like Esther. Some of you were created, my God Almighty, to live like Esther. But because, my God Almighty, of the wicked plan of Satan, it is not flowing, but it's not too late, as long as we know that God is alive and well. It's not too late. Amen. Amen. to God. It is not too late for the favor that is up on Esther life to flow upon the children of God. And I'm not talking just on a woman, but on every man, every man, women and men, everyone. As God said, he created men in his own image. Amen. Upon everyone life. Amen. Upon everyone life. My God Almighty, as we, my God Almighty, go day by day, we look around, my God Almighty, and we see so many things that occurred in our life. And seeing all these things occurred in our life, there's always, my God Almighty, disappointment. Because Mr. Disappointment always want to come, my God Almighty, to bring down men. I wonder if you hear what I'm speaking, people. Yeah. And Mr. Disappointment don't belong in the midst because we have a mighty God that we serve. And he see everything, my God Almighty. 
And because this month is a month for men, for every man that he created, he is saying, my God Almighty, it is for us to catch the favor of God. Not just to have the favor and then my God Almighty. You see, when you have the favor of God, that means he, God, will what? Release. I want to hear what I'm saying. Amen. When we have the favor of God, he will release. Yes. And in the midst of releasing, there is no blockage, no stoppage. Mm. And right there, things will happen in a quick and a second. You will find, my God Almighty, many people asking you, what's the matter with you? You see, many. My, let me say this to you, people of God. As children of the Most High God, and uh, my God Almighty, the very day we come in and said to him, Lord, we need you. Satan, get out and God come in. You need to understand. And the favor of God has stamped in our life. I wonder if you all get what I'm saying. But the thing about it is that, my God Almighty, the reason why the favor is not operating is because there are many blockage, many things that we are doing that is not pleasing in the sight of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is what we need to get and understand, people of God. One of you all get what I'm saying. Amen. Because he is such a God that my God Almighty, he go as far as telling us that my God Almighty, we as children of God, we perish because of lack of knowledge. And knowledge is what? Knowing. Knowledge is knowing. Because we don't know the right thing, we lack of things that are supposed to operate in our life. Yes. Yes. This is what we need yes. to understand, people of God. Because we don't know. When you don't know, you don't know. You are, we, we are like blind bats uh, flying into the wall. Bam. We are like, my God Almighty, like they would say, you know, um, my, my mommy and I was laughing the other day when she called me. Oh, I love my mommy Punky so much. And she, she makes me laugh when she said to me, you know, um... As we were praying for our dear, my God Almighty, as the Holy Ghost have me praying for our dear, my God Almighty, Brother John, the other day. And I was saying to him, I said, when I look in the room, I see his eyes closed in and everything. And she said, yes, his eyes, his eyes, both eyes are completely blind, but... You can see the eyeball. I said, okay. And she said to me, it is as blind as, 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 the, as how they said, Pato. The Pato bird cannot see in the day. Only in night, Pato can see. And I said, my God, God is something else. I said, God is something else. What I'm talking about, my God Almighty, many times... Our eyes are as blind as the pato in the day. I want to hear what I'm saying. And we are talking about spiritually. 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 Because if something lack in the spirit, physically we cannot, my God Almighty, move. It has to open up in the spirit first before it can, can, we can be able to be free in the natural. Amen. Right. And these are things that is, you know, these things, things like these are, they, they are bolt, bolt, you know, the door, the door bolt. They are bold yeah. people of God. That is my God Almighty and many of us life. And many of us has been bowled down. One of you hear what I'm saying? Many of us has been nailed down. Many of us, my God Almighty, the thing, things that are supposed to flow for us is not flowing. So what we need to do, my God Almighty, is tap into the right thing. And how can we tap into the right thing? We have to give in to him. Who is him? The Lord of Lord and the King of all kings. Let us give him glory. Glory. Raba Satoria Bashanda. Mama Sheke Rebekendo Rubusata. You see, people of God. It is for us as children of God to flow in the things of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
But many times, while we are why we are not flowing in the things of God, and as the Lord God Almighty is putting this in my spirit, and I just want for everyone to be blessed today, my God Almighty. Mm. Everyone must mm. leave off this line shouting, upping, and skipping, and praising God. Yes, God. And I want to tell you some some of you that happen to be online today, like oh, my like my dear sister Babette dear, it's not my God Almighty an incident, it's not an accident. It is an appointment by God for you to get this word in your spirit today. Because I know normally you would be in church, but when the Spirit of God Almighty have you to say that I don't feel like going to church today, I'm not gonna go to church today, I'm gonna just join in with the line. It is that your time is my God has come for you to see your way to get to where you are to be in 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 your life and in God yes. Amen. if you can receive that Amen. receive it I receive it glory be to God hallelujah so as I said people of God the reason why my God Almighty many of us are not walking my God Almighty into the favor of God is because some of us has lost it along the way. I wonder if you all hear what I'm saying. We have lost it yeah. along the way. When we come to Christ Jesus, we were so excited. There was nothing else that could bring any blockage, any forces, any darkness in the midst between us and him. I'm not saying that many of us didn't have blockage on our life. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the way the zeal people of God that many of us, my God Almighty, create in the very first part for him for just us and him but what happened my god almighty as we go along the way some of us my god almighty we don't want to let go and let god i wonder if you all hear what i'm saying I said some of us we don't want to let go and let God we want to hold on to what my God Almighty God have nothing to do with because what we need to get and understand people of God how the favor of God can get and come in and move is when we my God Almighty allow him to do whatever he want to do in our life and many people my God Almighty is God tell them to do something they get upset and say this is the devil because they don't believe God will shift them out of their comfortable zone and get them into a place where they can be, my God, uncomfortable for a little while so that he can make a shift, my God Almighty, and to do whatever he want to do in you and me life. Come on, people, in our life. Mama Shende. This tape is going to this tape is going to have some little noisy noisy on it, but people of God, you all out there by bypass it because you know I, I I'm telling you this neighborhood that I'm living in. I, I, I want I said God, the next place I'm living in, God, don't let me live in such a noise. Don't help me, Lord, help me, Jesus. Jesus. It's like these people get wild when it come on to this time. Wild. Jesus. Every turn you turn you hear some and then it's like they put something in their engine. Brrr. It don't drive like normal car. Noisy. Have mercy Jesus Christ and protect them as they go along the way. Let none my God Almighty crash and die in Jesus name. Amen. Don't care how wicked they are. Help them to surrender and if they don't want to surrender we'll leave them to their reptobate mind God. In Jesus' name. So as I said, people of God, many of us might be saying, my God Almighty, oh, things, things are not happening the way it's supposed to happen for us. But if we look and see, my God Almighty, are we allowing God to do what he's supposed to do in our life? Let us think about that. Are we really allowing God? Because remember people of God, if he is the one, my God Almighty, that we come to, it's just like, let us put, let us put, let us look at these people of God. Whenever a person need a job, first to comment, you have to write up your application. And I sure know when you're writing that application, you'll be very careful not to make any mistake. I feel the Holy Ghost. Mama! Shatteria Kandorobo Shende. 
and by by and by my God Almighty writing up that application, my God Almighty. Even though in the midst of the natural with the application, many t some people tell lie. Some people will put lie in their application. But let me say this to your people of God. The lie will find us out. Whoever my God Almighty yeah. is like that, the lie will always find out that person. Get what I'm saying? Get what I'm saying, people. The lie will always find out that person. But what I'm talking about, my God Almighty, you come in, my God Almighty, you want to do that job. And you tell you, some people will even lie about their age. Some people will lie about, my God Almighty, their um, quick, quick credential. They will lie about their identity. Attendees in this conference. The host has joined the conference. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Sorry about that, people of God. Can um can my daughter, dear, catch me up where I reach, my God and my sister gay? Yes. You were saying that when you were applying for a job, you're saying you fill out the application, you work hard to make no mistakes, but some people don't tell the truth. Glory be They're to God. Glory be to God. And because of that, my God Almighty, you see, many people might wonder and say, how oh, comes our dear daughter, sister, gay, I always ask her things. She write down stuff. She write down like every word that come out of my mouth. Why? Because we're we are going to have the books and the books, we're going to take stuff from what God is doing and put in the books, in the spiritual books. Amen? Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, what I'm trying to say, my God Almighty, is that knowing that, my God Almighty, we come to the, um, in the natural with the job, many, my God Almighty, they do everything. They lie, some people, some, not everybody, some people lie about their credential, some people lie about their identity, some people lie about, my God Almighty, so many things, but in the midst of everything, whenever, my God Almighty, hallelujah, they get to the job, and they start to ask them, can I see this, can I see that, and and when they match in with the application, they see that something is not right. It is wrong. Come on, people. Yeah. Right. And the same thing, my God Almighty, many of us want to do with God. We comes in, my God Almighty, we, some of us come in. And when we come in, we say, God, I will do anything. I'll do anything, God. You, God Almighty, just do this for me. We bargain with him. We tell him what we will do. And we come in the midst like my God Almighty making a covenant with him. But some of us don't understand that we are what a covenant. Mako setri kandorobo shende robo kotori abashanda. Mine some of us don't understand glory be to God some of us don't understand that we are what a covenant breaker come on people 